Good day, everyone. It's been a while since I've sculpted anything, so let's sculpt a running Impala. I always find when I'm making thin pieces like this that it's just easier to bake it hard before I put it on the sculpture. I decided to experiment with several different kinds because I never know which I'm going to really like the best. The theory here was to position the horns in the right shape before I baked them. However, they kind of melted. So we just start again and make another set. My wife gave me the idea of bracing the horns with aluminum and this worked much better. And now I can actually start to see the animal taking shape. On second thought, I think I can do better, so I'm going to make a third set of horns. Well, that's a little disappointing. I didn't bake these horns long enough, and if you don't bake them long enough, they're really fragile. There's always minor setbacks. I'm just going to continue with the rest for now. I'll come back to the horns later. Fourth time's a charm. These horns actually turned out. Baked nice and hard, and I think they look good too. Try to get the majority of the face blocked in before I put the eyes in. If you don't, you have too many changes to make later. And again, I bake the eyes hard before I put them in. It just makes it easier. I usually have to take a few tries to set the eyes. This is number two. I didn't spend a lot of time on the ears, but they seem fairly simple to make a good representation. I felt like the eyes were just a little too small, so this is the third time, and I'll put a bigger eye in there next time. Now the horns seemed like they were sitting a little too far back and high, so I took them off and reset them. The eyes were inset a little too far into the skull, so I just pulled them out a little bit. We can call this number four for setting the eyes. The 
I spent many, many hours on the legs. I try my best to get them to look like the pictures, but I always find legs to be very difficult. Particularly in running animals, it's hard to find good reference pictures of an animal's legs when they're running. I was having a lot of difficulty getting any detail into the hooves, so I decided to just cut them off, shape them off of the sculpture, and then put them back on later. It helped. And you can't forget the dew claws. You gotta have the dew claws. I put it on a little pedestal there, and that's to help later on when I cast this in bronze. But I'll talk about that in the coming episodes. The gauge wire I used for the armature was just a little bit too big for the legs, but I did the best I could anyway. These animals have very thin, sinewy legs, and that detail is kind of hard to capture. Last thing to do is smooth out all my tool marks and get it ready for one last inspection and put in any final touch before I put it in the oven and bake it hard. A little bit of lighter fluid just to get it a little smoother and we're done. Well, there it is, it's all finished. This took a long time, it's a lot of work, but I'm happy with how it turned out. A lot of steps to go through before we can turn this into another bronze. We have to mold it, we have to do the wax casting, the wax chasing, cast it in bronze, do the metal chasing. But if you wanna see all those steps and the process to this becoming a beautiful bronze, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like watching this. Come on back for more episodes. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.